Hi, and welcome to the Aura Cards tutorial. The Aura Cards macro allows you to create content boxes, we call them cards, that are automatically organized by columns and rows to display your content in a more attractive and easy to read way. The look and feel of your Aura Cards is highly customizable, therefore I want to show you a short overview about what's possible. On this page we have two examples, one where our cards have an image at the top and at the, at the bottom you see a title and some text. If I scroll down a little bit you can see that the design is very different. In this case we have an image on the left side and on the right side we have a nice background color and again some text. Let us switch to a different example. So on this page we are using the Aura cards here as a navigation menu. Each of those cards are linked to a sub page. And again, we are using Aura cards here in a very minimalistic or subtle way to promote very important articles. Here's another one where cards are used as a navigation menu. All right, let me show you two more. So here's another card where you can see the image on the left side, on the right side a beautiful background color and here we would like to, you know, present the objective and uh, the description of the objective. So here you can see a use case. Here comes the last example. We are using our cards with icons. They are beautifully colored here and again another Aura macro, another Aura cards macro which uh, is displaying, for example, different blog posts. All of those examples are available in our sample page section, so if you want to see them live, you can do so. All right, now we will jump into the page edit mode and I will show you how to create those cards. As always, click somewhere on your page so that your cursor is active, then click on plus, click on view more, and now on the search field, search for Aura cards. Click on this element, click on insert, and there you go, now you are in the Aura Cards editor. The editor is divided into two different tabs, in the general and the content tab. All the options in the general tab are applied to all of your cards. And if you want to edit a single card to do specific adjustments, you click on the card and then you see that it switched to the content tab and there you can then do your adjustments. So I will go back into the general tab and we will go through all the options here. So first of all, there is this alignment option. You can see what happens instantly here in this real-time preview. You can choose from three different card types. A text type, an icon type and an image type, which is always my favorite. And then again, you can select how many columns you want to see. So maybe you just want to use one column, two columns, three columns, and so on, up to six columns. So now we have six columns, but we have only three cards. So we need to add some more just like this. So I'm just clicking on the plus, and then you can see all of your cards. Currently, we only support six cards per macro, but we will improve that so you will be able to create unlimited cards in one macro. All right, so now we have six cards. So again, if I would uh, change that to three columns, you see that we have a second row here. Design, we have different designs. So this is the light design that is currently active. There's also a light accent design. As you can see, a small line at the top has been added to each of those cards. And this colored line can be adjusted later on in each of those cards. Then we have a background color design. And here you can see that the background color where the text is in um, can be also colored. So this makes sense, for example, um, with those beautiful images. So each of those image has a primary color and we have used this primary color again. So it looks just beautiful. We have image settings. So if you use the card type image, you have specific settings. So this goes also for the icon here. And for the text, uh, you see it's, it's the same. 
uh, for the icon, it's the same, but for the image, we have specific image settings. So you can um, choose from different, op uh, from different image positions, for example, on the left side, or on the right side, or on the top. So if we switch over to the left side, and it's now very small, there is this nice slider here, and you can make your adjustments so that everything looks better. It's still very small, I think, so we could, for example, adjust some other sliders here. And as you can see, it's very easy to, to do so because you have always this real-time preview here. There is also a small button uh, or a, uh, a toggle, which is called Full Width of Parent. If you activate this, you don't see any change here. Um, but let me show you quickly what this toggle does. So let us save this card set without um, activating this toggle. And now you see it looks like this. Now I will just copy paste this whole Aura cards, which is possible with every um, Aura macro, you can just copy them. Now in the second one, I will activate the full width parent. Save. And now you can already see what happens. So if you activate this option, you see that the cards will use the available width and will scale so. So um, as you can see, they are now much wider than uh, the ones at the top. All right, let me delete the second one here again and let's go back into the edit mode. So now that we have seen all the options of the general tab, let's go into the content tab. To do so, I will click on this card here on the first one and here you can see the options uh, for this card. You can set up a title and you can also set um, a content text, which is just below this title here. Both are optional, so you can also just leave them out or you can for example just use one of them so it's up to you and uh, also it's depending on the situation what you want to achieve um, each of those cards can be linked to for example or um, sorry to uh, confluence pages to blogs to whatever is you know um, available inside of confluence um, you can also uh, link to attachments. So for example, here is a is an image and if you hover over this image, you can also see um, a small preview of that image. You can also link to, for example, any URL in the web and also to an email address. So I will just skip that for now. Um, the next option is that you can move your cards. So select your cards and then simply move it where it should belong. Um, then there is this color option here and this color option is um, adjusting this background color here. So you can select from your colors of your color palette if you want, just like that. Or you can, for example, use the color picker to yeah, select a color of your choice. Then um, you are also able to define which image should be visible here. So simply click on this and there are two options. First of all, uh, the first option here, which is now active, is the uh, web tab. So you can use images from the web. We are using mainly images from Unsplash, um, but you can also use images, for example, that are uh, on your internal server or from other um, pages in the web. It's up to you. And the second tab is, uh, again, uh, Confluence attachments. So we can uh, use, for example, this image here to be displayed here. So let me do that just like that. And now it's displayed here. Of course, images have different, you know, ratios. Some are uh, in a portrait mode, others are in widescreen mode. So you need to do some adjustments so that the image would look nice in here. And the last option is that you are able to delete a card. So maybe, for example, this card um, is not uh, needed anymore. You can just uh, click here on delete selected card and it's gone. And now you can again create, for example, a new card just like that. All right. So now let me hit save. And this is it. This is a very brief overview of what is uh, possible with uh, Aura cards. I hope that this video helps you. Thank you for watching.